It is six o'clock on the nose. It's time. How are we doing, everyone? We're just going to wait for people to jump in. We would have got a couple of people here already. We got Bad Gamer Collins and Bone Jesters here already, so sweet. Hopefully you guys are receiving me loud and clear. If not, give me a give me a holler and let me know and I'll adjust things. Ha! <laughs> Craw! <laughs> sweet. We'll just give it a couple of minutes, we'll let some people join. Get that nice and professional, checking my phone on stream. Awesome, 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 awesome. Yep, 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 yep. All good. Excellent. Sweet. Oh, it's a hot day today. It is a hot day. I don't know where it is, I don't know how it is where you guys are, but it's hot. It's a warm one. It is a warm one. It's currently 24 degrees right now, or depending where you're from, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Sweet, 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 sweet. We're getting thumbs up. All good. So today what we're going to be doing is um, I usually stream over at Twitch, which is um, twitch.tv forward slash uh, mirrored theory there, which I hope I got that link right. <laughs> oh, I'm so used to just streaming straight, uh, straight to Twitch. Um, but today we're doing it on YouTube just for a bit of fun. Um, so we're not streaming over. I would love to be able to stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, but I need to set up restream and stuff like that. And it just gets a bit, bit, bit of a, bit of a dodgy setup there. So we'll, we'll begin writing in a minute. We're just going to do a bit of a writing session. Um, if anyone wants to jump in, in the chat with any questions or anything like that, I'll answer them. No probs. And we've got rainy and cold, just how it should be, yeah. Just how it should be. But yeah, so twitch.tv forward slash mirror theory, that's where I usually am residing. I know you're here in the smoke and lights, yeah, hell yeah, oh, muck is here. Aaron Burbage, boy, bah. Ba ba ba! Everyone's here. What's going on? Brilliant. I'll kill the music in a second, and we'll we'll start writing, and we'll and we'll have a play with some ideas that I'm toying with. So just uh, just waiting for a couple more people to join, and we'll stop this drone in the background. I'd like to say I'm playing it, but I'm not. I'm playing it off my uh, off my deck. So, but I hope we're all having a good day. I hope it's all good. It's all good wherever you are, whatever time zone you're in, whatever part of the world you're in. But yeah, I've just realised you can see voice meter in the corner of my screen there. Woo! We get rid of that. Rid of that. But yeah, sweet. Cool. Right, we are. It is 6.03, so I think the music has been rolling long enough. So we are going to stop that and we are going to get started on uh, writing some music and just... Having a general gas and all of that stuff. I'm going to keep, I'm going to turn a fan on just down here by my feet because it's hot in here. Um, and I hope it doesn't come through the microphone. So um, it kind of does just a little, but it's not too, not too bad. So we're all good. Um, right. So let's go ahead and uh, muck about with some stuff. So I'm going to leave those drums uh, muted. I've just been uh, noodling with an idea today. Um, something that I kind of maybe want to throw on the new album. Or this could just be a single. It's a bit different than what I usually write. It's a bit, uh, I don't know. I dug out a pan drum. I'm using, um, what even am I using? Oh, I'm using some contact. But, so, it's, oh yeah, just, just a... Uh, just a Pandra Mark II. So let's have a look at that. Locked what's that, bub? Lockdown sending me crazy as a daisy. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> oh, that's great. Rise right, is crack into it and have a listen what we've got going on here. 
So hopefully you guys can hear that fine. Crazy as yes, a daisy bomb, bomb, bomb. Time for the wee drink. going for with this one I have no idea what's going on I'm just whatever ideas are coming to my head I'm just pop them down no messing around no tweak this tweak that I'm still in the build-up phase so I haven't put any proper drums in yet like I put a couple of kick drums in but but not much they're just little tape drums something with those vocals I want to stick something on there so boop I want to put a altar boy no not a rotary <laughs> a little altar boy I want to do some format shifting ah, is that hang drum I hear yes it is boy it is bub but I can't wait till lockdown's over so I can come and see you bub it's gonna be good. Yeah, it is. It is a handpan. Downloaded a, got a cool um, handpan um, uh, synth here. That's just fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I dude, I would love to buy one. I just, I've got to get one. I, I have to get one. Like me and you both should get one, and we can just jam together. Like, it'd, it'd be so, so good. Right, anyway, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, Little Art Boy, that's what I was doing. Uh, channel, what am I talking about, Vox? Yes. Right, let's play with the format on this a little bit. Not too noticeable. Nah, it's not gonna work on this style of vocal. I came and I failed. Right, anyway, we're gonna leave that as is. So, I'm not sure where I'm gonna go with this track. Like I said, I'm just noodling some ideas before I jumped on stream. So, um, we can go through a couple of other songs in a moment, so. Um, oh yeah, much needed, uh, much needed, yeah, that's a new word for you, needed, it replaces the word needed, um, <laughs> yeah, much needed beer, 100%, um, what's that bone, just the same, they're absolutely amazing, yes, they are, they are just stunning, stunning instruments, um, there's a, a guy I follow on um, Instagram, let me just pull it up, I'm, I'm just going to, uh, just gonna pull it up right now. Um, I think his name's Tarek. Yeah, of course it is. You know what we're talking about? Yeah. Um, his uh, Instagram handle is Turk himself, uh, Tarek Kabani, and he he plays a lot. He does a lot of um, handpan stuff. Oh wow, that's that's great focus, huh? He does a lot of handpan stuff. Um, and it's, it's absolutely phenomenal, you know, um, spoke to him a few times and he's a great guy. Um, if anyone wants to follow him on, um, on Instagram, I'm just going to, uh, just drop his, uh, uh, handle on here real quick. Um, it's annoying cause I can't chat on the actual OBS. I have to come quickly online. So, um, So if you want to give him a follow on Instagram, he does some really cool things, really cool things with hand pans and stuff like that. And it's, it's really good. I really want to get into it. I have wanted to get into it for years. I mean, I've saw one for the first ever time in London 
And uh, I was like, what? Loving the synth. The... So spacey. Right, I need to um, mute the X for the LFO there. So many drum layers in this, it's... I want to force it a bit harder though. Turn the bias on. Really crunch that up, like really nasty. cool so again i'm probably going to have a shift round with this because i don't know if i actually like the way the song progresses so far i'm just dropping stuff down i mean it'd be kind of nice to have it start with just this maybe <laughs> sweet it's going well with the game warzone excellent remove the wrong section. So let's just have a little listen from the start. I want to uh, just get familiar with it. Okay, so if I... You just trigger this on. Is that a bypass active? I uh, just need to check something, sorry. Right, that's bypass active, so I had it round the wrong way, like a two first. massive gaps on this as well is there's going to be vocals uh, there will be vocals at some point which I will will, will go ahead and record so you're going to need some heavier drums in now like So it is going over 4 dB. Whoops. Right, 
Cool. I'm going to close that up for a second because I want to just go through a couple of ideas that I've been uh, jamming with over the past couple of weeks. Um, there's a heap of files here, like absolute heap. And I just want to go through a couple with them, uh, like live on stream. So, um, nice ones too. Yeah, I like the feel of it so far. Yeah, I'm going to come back to that in a moment. I just want to go through some other other feels, uh, some other tracks and stuff, because uh, I'm, I'm not too happy with the arrangement yet. So I'm going to uh, change it around as we go. So a lot of these are just loops. Some of them are full tracks. Uh, so we're just going to go through a couple because I need to just check a few things out as well. So, um, sweet. I listened to M Mirrored Theory this very day. Awesome. That's awesome. Awesome. What's that, Eugenio? Beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. At the drop, throwing a crash symbol. I definitely need to. Oh, I've got to throw it in there. Um, I have to. Uh, so let's go through and have a cut, have a look at some other stuff. So, let's see how this one goes because this is a complete track, and I just want to have a listen while we're here. The Great View is still my favourite song. Awesome, it's one of my favourites too. It was an absolute blast to write. Ah, Kidsley's here. Oh, look, it's YouTube time. Yeah. It is. Um, just thought we'd jump over to YouTube uh, today instead of uh, instead of Twitch. Oh look, already got a serious error there. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. I have to reinitialize that because it did not like that whatsoever. I've had some problems today with uh, especially Lightroom and Photoshop. And I have no idea why. Right, let's try that again. If it crashes again, then I'm I'm not going to open it. I'm going to have to go back to a backup file. Definitely going to have to go back to her. <laughs> how did how did I get uh, my music on Make Me Bad Thirty Five? That's how I met your work. Um, it was it was kind of like uh. It was funny because my father was actually watching a Make Me Bad 35 uh, video, uh, The Insane Driver, and I'd never heard of, like, you know, Make Me Bad 35 before. And my dad showed me it, and, like, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was great. So I just, like, got... There was a video of him playing guitar. I wrote a drum beat to it. I wrote the bass, and I wrote everything, and I turned it into a whole song. I just messaged him and was like, you know, check this out. And then it was cool to share my stuff out and allowed me to remix some of his videos. And I thought that was super cool because I would, to be honest, be pretty much nowhere if it wasn't for Make Me Bad 35 in, you know, online. So it's awesome. How dare I open my CPU bar? That's not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> Santa fell. Oh, look, it's Christmas time. The mask is actually sitting, like, right behind me. music and now I know now I know the whole story also I've been staying here for a, quite a while sorry that got a bit loud um I'll be staying here for quite a while and Eugenio you are most welcome to stay here for as long as you like <laughs> oh, wear, wear the mask <laughs> um, I'll probably put it on in a moment Cool, 
So I'm just playing through this for a second, just so that you guys hear some of the stuff that's coming on the newer, newer album. Michael Cooper, welcome! How we doing, how we doing, how we doing? I need to turn this up in my headphones. I swear I had a piano running in this before. You ch what is going on here? We have an instrument missing. Sorry to cut you short there, guys. We have an instrument missing. Found ya. TDCR 1986, hey man, be listening to you. Listening for several years. Thanks for the incredible music. No, thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. It sounds fantastic. Thank you very much. to Mirror Theory for more than a decade. Now that is crazy. That is crazy. Now, for anyone here that, especially like Eugenio here that's been listening for a fair while, you'll definitely remember the album Incandescent, which was the first album I bought out, which came out 10 years ago, 2010. Um, and what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to release um, some limited edition merch with Incandescent on it. I'm going to release um, an art book with like Incandescent inspired artwork and a lot of my older photography and artwork that never got released. And I am going to remix slash revamp uh, a lot of the um, songs from that album. And I actually have some on here right now. I just actually, now you've reminded me, I'd just like to jump in and uh and check that out oh it's still trying to go to my ultra wide there so let us check it out right incandescent anniversary oh this is so gassy i apologize i'm trying to hold in these belches I'm trying to do it <laughs> i had long and smooth hair in those times yeah not anymore it's all gone. It's all gone. <laughs> so how are we all doing, guys? Are we all good? We having a good a good Thursday, wherever you are in the world, whatever time zone we're in. Morning, evening, night time. So this is a newer version of um, All In My Head that will be arriving soon. The drums aren't in this yet, so this is still still hashing this out, so yeah, I dare you to stop belching. <laughs> Sweet! Bone Jester enjoying the stream. I hope you're having a good day at work and it's not too too pants. One thirty in Chile, South America. Awesome. Greetings from the UK. So this is where the drop is going to be, and then the drums are going to come in. But I haven't done the drums yet, so it's so it's it's without. So 
So like I say, this is, and I'm preparing these at the moment for when we play live. So I'm gonna have a live drummer with me, hashing all this out. It's gonna be a cool, cool stage show, plenty of like visuals and stuff. But yeah, so that's what we've got going on, going on there. It sounds so beautiful. I love the original and this just brings back some memories for me. Awesome. Honestly, failure is not an option. I've been getting, getting me through med school. Oh, awesome. That's really cool. That is really cool. I actually, I did have the file for it and I was um, revamping it. I mean, the cool thing is, um, so 10 years ago, when I released, um, when I released uh, Incandescent, I put out a status saying that my computer, you know, died and I lost all of my files. I lost everything. So here's something crazy. So I get a call from my mum and she's like, yeah, I found a hard drive, you know, like, like in a wrapped up. I was like, what's on it? I was like, I have no idea. I can plug it into my system and take a look. And the funny thing was, is I made a backup 10 years ago. There is... 400 gigabytes of mirror theory on this drive alone and it's all of all the songs that didn't make it onto incandescent all the ones that didn't make it onto all the other um other albums and all of my original tracks and i was so happy to hear all these so i have all the originals all the ones off my space like sirens from across the lake uh all of that stuff and i will be steadily releasing that on spotify um in like small um like i did with the uh, lost tapes and I can't wait. I cannot wait. Yeah, it was absolutely crazy that I was, I thought I'd lost everything off my system. I spent 10 years never getting that stuff back. And the funny thing is, I forgot I, I did make a backup and I just hid it that well that I didn't know where it was. And being reunited with all that was, that's got Mirror Theory from, from day one on it, on that hard drive. And I'm going to make another backup of that. So I've got, so I've got two. Um, and I was astonished. I was absolutely astonished and I was like, no way, just sitting there like really nostalgic and uh, finding all the MySpace photos and stuff like that. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, the saviour backup. Oh, it was great. I didn't even know I made a backup. That's how crazy it was. I just must have ripped the hard drive and said to myself, you know, put this away. And uh, yeah, so that's from 10 years ago. Absolutely crazy. Are you still in a metal band? I like those mixes. Uh, not anymore. We disbanded. We um, stopped touring and we disbanded. So but there's some new projects coming. So keep your eyes peeled. to write this was if anyone recognizes it to the stream it's good to have you here man it's good to have you here yes winter's almost over well done well done you win 50 virtual points unfortunately they are not redeemable in your local currency <laughs> oh i was there sorry for talking so much but it's almost uh, a breakthrough to be uh, to almost uh talking with you after enjoying so much of your work for a whole decade no it's cool talk as much as you like it's great to keep the chat rolling it's great to have you all here um joining on so what do we got what software are you using bro this is cubase 10 but i'm using the ellie version because i got it cheap and i'm about to upgrade uh just got my upgrade price through for 192 so i'm going to upgrade to pro so um because i just like 
got rid of logic and stuff like that and i was like i feel more comfortable using cubase so so yeah that's what i'm using see now whenever i whenever i um opened this winter's almost over project there every time i close it it decides that it's just going to crap itself and and shut down so but yeah right let's jump into another track um and see what we've got because there's a couple I want to work on today whilst I'm, whilst I'm sitting here and there's a couple that I just sort of want to demo whilst I'm here. Uh, did you make the video clip for the song Weekend? That was an awesome one. Yes, I did. I made the video for that. I made everything in that video. So that was fun. That was we were <laughs> the, the reason I was blown on the mic there. The reason for uh, that video or why that video came about was um, I just had the, the video camera in in the passenger side and my friend was going to get new tires for his motorbike so I just took the camera with me and just filmed the drive like that's that's how it that's how it came through Scott what's up hey dude sounds great thank you very much appreciate it appreciate it so right let's jump back through into some like random tracks we've got here you're probably going to jump in I usually hide these track names uh, because a lot of them are where I've just smashed the keyboard or they've got really, really stupid names. Um, as you can see right here, there's one called Sobri McBum. Don't know. Don't know what I was thinking there. Must have just smashed the keys, so... Let's open uh, Skyfinder. Sometimes when I'm on stream, Cubase does like to just shut down every now and then, so I just have to reinitialize it, so I do apologize. How are we doing? I see some new people joining. We're having a good day. Good night. Good morning. And hopefully we're all staying safe through this current uh, pandemic and we're all um, sticking to our social distancing and all that good stuff. I know it sucks not being able to see family and friends, but it is for the greater good. Was this the same track I just opened a moment ago? Please tell me I didn't open the same track. No, good. Going for a bit more of a drum and bassier feel on this one, and I need to finish this. This one came from uh, when I finished work. I was really inspired when I came back and just got straight out of work and it ends straight onto this. You got any payer on that hard drive? Yes, I have. Lots of it. And there's new stuff coming as well. Yeah, the greater good. Yep, yeah, from the Hot Fuzz movie, yep. Yeah. <laughs> something I want to do with these drums, they're not they're not doing it for me. There's something I need some seasoning on it. Get out of the way, timer. You're going over here. My drums at the moment just are not, there's something missing. I've gone for a really Sega Mega Drive lead there. Um, I just gotta hear it by itself, I just gotta solo it. Where are you? Oh, I actually labelled my tracks. Very nice. Well, he says and can't find the lead file. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> it needs some more... Uh, it's kind of like a Yamaha-inspired uh, digital string, so a really distorted digital string. Yeah, it needs more hand drum. Drum? Yeah, drum. More hand drum. Ha oh, I can't speak today. I cannot speak. But this needs more... More, um... I can't get my words out. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> right, where is... Where is the... Oh, this is just a bunch of buttons and dials, so... I'll use my spider senses to figure out which is what. I need... 
LFO, that's what I need. I found you. I need more. No, I need more amount. Come on. Oh, don't go back to the start. Come on. Oh, that's bendy weird. That sounds so terrible. I love it. That's what I need. Bendy, that's what I need. I found it. <laughs> Old school Sonic sounds. Hell yeah. I want to start up a 16-bit project again and just pull apart a Sega Mega Drive and use like what I used to use. I used to have a N64 controller and a Sega Mega Drive controller and, you, and I could plug them in via USB. Um, and I used to use those as my drum samplers. Like that was just so cool. I had that conversation earlier on today, actually. Uh, Bioshock Boy 21, just wanted to say thank you for all the music you make. I, I grew up with them as a kid. Oh, young one here, but it still helps me through the dark times. And now, like now, never stop being legendary. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's cool. I really, 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 really appreciate that. Really do. Right, let's go and listen to that in context. Oh, what a nice comment. Appreciate that. Oh, that's got that. Mm -hmm. That's got more movement. That's what I'm feeling now. I want to over, over compress the knackers off these drums, though. Carl Brown, shut up. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I know I should be working on some. Uh, some oh, I almost said the project name, didn't I? Trying to get it out of me. <laughs> Right, cool. So I want to over compress the crap out of these drums and just like do everything I shouldn't with them. So this is our drum bus. Um, I do actually need to add an EQ on here because there are some wayward frequencies that are killing my ears. I do a low cut of anything under 30 hertz because we don't need that rubbish down there. That's the real deal. <laughs> Eugenia, oh my god, that song. Oh yeah. Right, I just want to tame that kick drum a little bit in the main bus there. Let's just do that with some dynamic EQ. I still think, I still think, I'm thinking out loud, and this is the weird thing with me when I'm writing music, I talk a lot. And I even do it when I'm not on stream, so it's just my process, so I'm not weird. Or am I? <laughs> Bieber party, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, you bring it out all the gems. You can stay. You can stay. I like you. <laughs> Bieber party pen. My gosh. That's fantastic. Now that goes back a long a long time, right? So I need to go into my drum sampler. Um just here cuz I kind of feel that kick drum is not the sample I want just yet, but I'm going to give it some time. I just need to adjust the um, uh, the ADSR on it. So, where are you, battery? There you are. I'm going to go and just adjust the envelope on the kick drum so it cuts off a lot harder. Um, right, let's go have a look. There we go, there's no huff on the end of it now, no. Ooh. It's like a solid knock. I love it, I love it. Oxymoron02, welcome to the stream. How are we doing, bro? How was your day at work? I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, it was, still is, a hot one outside. I can tell the temperature with my eyes. No, I'm kidding. Um, I hope it wasn't too bad for you today, bro. Right. Let's go back to what we was doing. <laughs> Sniff. That hi hat is just. Mm 
Yeah, snare drum. I don't feel it's doing it for me as well either yet, but we're gonna we're gonna work with that in a moment and see what's going on. So your music's a hundred times better than the mainstream musicians. I hope one day you get to show your creations to an even larger audience. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Right, let's go back to what we were talking about. I feel like the kick drum's got too much mid-range in it that kind of needs to come out. I don't know if that's just in my headphones or... That. Ooh, go away. I'm going to try a couple of other samples in a moment and just... I also want to just be a complete ass and over-compress the drum bus because who doesn't love over-compression? Like, I'm going to throw a ADH... Whoa, no. Whoa. H... I can't even say it. ADHD. If Stuart's here, he knows what's going on. He knows what's about to happen. We're about to just destroy. So let's have a listen to it off. Even at 50%, it's just no. Maybe just tick a little bit like that, you know, it's got to four to one. Oh no, I was on four to one. Crap, let's not go any higher. Right. Bro, I had to goddamn save the day last minute again. You absolute hero. Pat on the back. Pat on the back. Defo, Defo sounds like a level on Sonic. I love it. I love it. It's that snare drum. I've got to... I've got to just bring out some of the crispiness in it. Or, I have a clap. Let's try and EQ the clap. Oh, I already did. Right, let's EQ the snare then. Seeing as we're going to be a smarty pants. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. That is a bit better. Damn! How are we doing? How are we doing? Is it... I, I'm trying to... I, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Is it Kirill? Kirill? I'm so sorry if that's mispronounced. I'm so... I'm, I'm too, so de terribly sorry. But how are we doing? Are we good? You having a good day? Eugenia just call him the bearded gem. I, I think... Correct me if I'm wrong. Oxymoron. I think I am still called Bearded Gem in your phone. I think. I think. I just need to hear this piano. Like, I... I just... Yeah, oh. Mm. Let's turn off the sidechain compressor there. Oh. Oh, yeah. I have it set to read, don't I? Oh, I've turned a global read on. Clever Jake. Hmm. Thirsty Fuster. <laughs> you guys crack me up. You 100% are. Excellent. Excellent. Take her down, Smithers. Excellent. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right. 
Right, I was just going to put that on the back burner for a second there. We're just going to go through a couple of songs because I just want to hear some other stuff. So that was Skyfinder. Um, you know, cat's waking up. How are you doing? Um, I'm just going to go through some random ones here because I want to know what tape interlude, interlude is because I want to ignite some of these interludes. The coffee has hit, so get ready for some... <laughs> get ready for some... Sh I just want to crawl in... Oh, there's some tape hum going on here. What is this? Yeah, this is one I... This is a lo-fi one that I've been working on and... That's going to have some vocals on it as well. I don't know if I like it with the... With the lo-fi on there, I know I need to pull some of this low end out because it's gross. Oh, that looped terrible, didn't it? Bring it back. What a tune. Oh, I tell you what, bring it back. I found the original mix um, on this on this hard drive. I found the original mix of Bring It Back and I have all of the stems so I can actually remix it. No problems. And I was so happy about that. I was so happy about it. Oh. <laughs> you said it on stream again. I just want it crawling. <laughs> he did it. That's the best way of spelling he did it. That's how I need to spell it from now on. Did it. <laughs> oh, Goofy, you bunch of goofs. You bunch of goofs. Right, let's get some of this low end out. That's... Might throw that either in the mid side or somewhere. That's way better. Hi, cut, please. Thank you. Let's turn off that tape deck. That wasn't the effect I was going for. So, do you know which I like? I mean, I could always. I like this, I think, a bit better. He's on the nose. Right, let's go through and listen to these individual. I've got to be DX7 in that. Oh, Jupiter 8. This sound sounds quite antiquated. I love it. You prefer the second one? What, the, um, the really lo-fied effect? So this, uh... I've been listening to his albums loads of times. It's, yeah, we go way back. Yeah, we do. Looking forward to the future stuff and loving how this is all sounding so far. Sweet. Um, yeah. Collins, We uh, once this is all lifted, we're going for a pint. We'll get Rory on the blower and we'll go for a pint. Well, a pint. I mean like ten. Yeah, Oxymoron 02. Yep, you've had the misfortune of growing up with me. Man, when we used to uh, when we used to write music back in the day when all we had was um, Windows Sound Recorder. That was it. We went to record this guitar and then we ended up throwing it out the window and smashing it um, on the concrete because, you know, that's what kids do, I guess. <laughs> Must have been hard. 
needs a rustic string instrument or Arabic flute in the background. Arabic flute. Do you know what? I have Arabic vocals. That could go on the top. <laughs> Arabic flute. I like that. I don't think I have any flutes. But what did you suggest as well? Rustic string. Well, let us see what we can procure. <laughs> Just need to turn off some of this like crackle and stuff because that is a bit butts. Where are you? found you there you are thank you very much right let's go and see what we can find so for string wise um <laughs> show me the money why am i trying <laughs> can't even i don't even, do i know how to music uh let's go and have a look also i didn't even open that uh vocal thing i had the other day um <laughs> let's go see what we got then probably something like labs will do labs is always good for rustic strings or weird strings should i say yeah or 12 yeah definitely 12 beers yep how else would you play guitar yeah <laughs> I like where it's going. Uh, I'm liking the concept to something Arabic. Yeah, some of those instruments have such unique sounds. They do, they do. They're really um, expressive, really expressive sounds. Like, I really love, like, Arabic um, chanting vocals. Like, uh, I think it's just phenomenal, which I'm going to try some in a moment and see what happens as well. So, the humming you was doing was perfect, by the way. Maybe match that up with an additional instrument. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's go see what we've got uh, labs-wise. Let's get my phone off of the launch pad. Ow. Why did I say ow? <laughs> oh, right. Let's just break my phone. Love it already. Mm-hmm. Yep, great. Yep, that's a hit record. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> right, let's set this up properly so it doesn't mash like a whole heap of keys. Um, I do have a very wobbly preset on, so it's going to sound very bent, so. Um, Herman. Uh, right, let's go and have a look what we've got here then. Let's go and see our string sections, which is right here. We could try the Super Soul. Very weird bent string there. It does sound like it's underwater. That's because of the sample rate drop um, on the um, on the tape deck here. So if I then was to remove that, so. Let's get a droney string going on. Right, leave that in there. I'll just remove that for a second. Remove. I'm just going to colour this. Uh, I can feel quite, it's quite a warm colour, so it's all going to go orange. Uh, what's up, cat? Huh? You getting hungry? <laughs> I know you are. Uh, I'm not talking to an imaginary friend off screen there. There actually is uh, just my, uh, my girlfriend's cat sitting on the on the chair next to me here. <laughs> Right, I want to just try. This is not even going to be in the right tune, I don't even think. So, could even try. Could even try. I just want to try the Chromatic Map Mark 2 on this. 
and just hear how weird this sounds. I want it's probably gonna sound ultra pants. <laughs> Welcome to the zone where everything is broken. It definitely can't play that many notes at the time. Okay, cool. We know that now. We know that that's a problem. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. That was really terrible. Um, Was it vocal morph? Thing is, is that new thing I just picked up? Yeah, it is. Ah, cool. I don't know what this plugin is. I haven't used it yet. I picked it up yesterday, so I don't know what it does. Hey, he doesn't have a GFRO cat. He's crazy. I will, um, I will show the cat soon, but she is sleeping right now, so I'm not going to disturb her. When she wakes up and she's ready for food, then I'll, I'll show her on stream. <laughs> <laughs> what is this plugin? It's so terribly cool. That's great. I love it. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, okay, so there's one here called Video Girl. Okay. Got it. Noted. it. Oh, this is weird. What's going on? <laughs> I I don't I don't Oh, okay, I broke it. That's not cool. That's just terrible. That's making me laugh more than anything. I'm not using this plugin correctly, I don't think. Yeah. Right, let's let's get out of here. Because I was not you. I legit feel this is a yeah, basis for another track. Yeah, 100%. That was not what I was going for there. That was... Uh, Oh my gosh. Right. I don't think this is going to be in the right tune, but we're going to have some fun and see what happens. Yeah, chipmunks, 100%. <laughs> oh. right, let's move on to... I don't think this is going to work in the track either. No, it's in a... Right, let's just let's just stop messing around. Let's actually put some synths in for a second and then we'll we'll mess around with some 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 uh, fancy stuff afterwards. So I kind of like the way this track how it comes in with just everything at once, just What headphones am I using? I am using the um, AKG K250 Studios. I think they're 250. I'm lying. They're the um, AKG K240 Studios. Really nice. You have to run them with a like kind of a meaty preamp to get them to light up because they're 250 ohms. But they are real nice. Except the whoop. This earpiece has come off because it's these have been through the war. These have been. These have been played live so many times. They've been unfortunately dropped a couple of times, but if you keep them in a studio setting, then they they will last longer. But I've had these a good seven years now. And they're great. Really, really good. I really like that synth. Check it out. <clears throat> Koto esque. 
Right, okay, cool. I'm going to save that preset and make sure that's good because I'm probably going to mess around with some params. Anyway, I can control that with envelope 2, put that through the VCF. Whoa. Strange. Very strange. Ah. The A4400 tuner. I like that synth. I really do. It needs some noise to it as well. If I can't add it inside the synth, then I'll just add it with a noise filter. Surely there has to be a noise generator on here. Because I don't know the Jupiter very well. Um, yeah, there's, here's a noise generator. There we go. Yeah, seven years is quite a lifespan. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like that a lot. I'd like to try and, and play with some... Wow, that release runs long. I'd like to uh, try some more synths. Excuse me, why are you not triggering? Oh, I haven't got my launch pad turned on. There we go. It is some rainy music. Well, I'll tell you what, let's add some rain in right now. Let's make a rainy song. Let's do it. Let's sweep this, because we do not need it. Um, there we go, some nice rain. to remake these drums as well because I am using a drum loop here of <laughs> now right now it's raining here in Chile just perfect awesome okay so what else do we I am going to um, get rid of all the low end out of these drums. And then I'm going to remake them in a drum sampler. Need to follow the, the rhythm. Wow! Need to follow the rhythm of uh, that. Um, what else have we got down here? Oh.
Cheating, not even playing the keyboard. Um, let's go grab some... Uh, I'm probably going to go to somewhere like... Either Posty or Drip or something like that. Just to grab a nice, uh, round, uh, nice round kick. Or even something like the old kick collection. I reckon so. Right, let's make a drum sampler. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Drop a drum sampler in, see what's going on. <laughs> then I'll have to follow that drum rhythm. What time is it for me? Ooh, six minutes past seven. Very nice. That could work straight off the bat. Um, oops. Oh, I need to find out what key the song is in, because that would be perfect to have a snare drum that follows the uh, actual... Right, that's snare collection. Right, let's go to Ultimate Snares. So it's just Ah, done, done, done. Right. Let's put it up to one, two, seven. So down, 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 down. Oh, it's down, down, down. Right. So down, down. Please release this track on Spotify when you can. Yes, I definitely will. This will be a good single to release, uh, like a lockdown single. So um, what we're going to do as well is I'm going to shuffle these drums just a, just a touch, just a touch, just to make them sound a bit more natural. Um, just going to bring them off the grid ever so slightly. And just I'm going to make these swing and sway. So it's going to sound a bit weird at first. Oh, too much. There we go. Right, so that's that. That's that. If that's that's that. So we're going to run these all out, so... Yeah, 
Yeah, <laughs> Oxymoron 02, me and you both. I wish it was raining here too. One of the only times I actually wish it was raining in the UK. Um, it's it's just too damn hot. And it's hot in here. Like, it, it's real warm. You know, I've got the PC running and all that stuff. Cameras running and it's It's crazy. <laughs> Might pitch that kick drum down a little bit, give it some more thud. And uh, bounce these all out into um, a bus. Let's create a channel for this. Cause drumps. Just smash an extra on it like stuff here. And then something like a uh, some of that hi-hat there because where is that music can't hear where it is sounds about 5,000 ki 5, kilohertz 5,000 hertz Can't hear it is. That's why I can't hear it because I'm in the wrong track. There you are. This is the annoying thing now about these kind of tracks is um, you have to listen to stuff over and over again and it does get a bit tedious. There you are. That's sounding cool. That is sounding cool. I do like the sound of that, so I'm going to save that out. And uh, we're that is tape into Luda. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of other songs that I want to hear. What have we got? The drones, sequencer, postal. Another one called Return to Dust. I already released one called Return to Dust. Can just hear my desk fan there coming through on the uh, on the noise gate. So Bone Jester and Oxymoron O2, what do we think to some Borderlands Three? <laughs> so interesting how much your music has uh, evolved over the last ten years. Yeah, it is. It is really crazy. It is really crazy. Quick question, what's your favourite song you you made that means so much to you? One that means so much to me, um... I've got to have a think about it. Just got to have a think. What's Borderlands? What is this? My name is Sir Hammerlock and I, that was a crap impression. Wow, never do that again. How was impression formed? Uh, brackets, yes, yes. Nice. Now 
now this has my cousin playing guitar on it, I've just remembered. As I'm going to definitely say that that does hold quite heavy and quite close to my heart because of uh, losing a, a very dear friend uh, and musician, um, Faye Howell, who I went to school with. So, you know, that was really, really um, kind of... Uh, as soon as I found out, I was like, just because we, we were supposed to write a track together. We always spoke about writing a track together and, and, and we never got to. And unfortunately, you know, um, God bless his soul. We we never got to, so I wrote that track, and yeah, definitely, definitely pathways. I think, um, definitely. But let's just go back through this again. I just want to hear these guitar buses real quick. Uh, do I have a guitar bus set up? Please tell me I do. Yes. to loop this because I need to take some low end out of the uh, out of this mix because it is uh, humping right now. Okay, my CPU bar seems to be stuck at max. That's an error. <laughs> Real time peak and an average load. No, that's lies. That's lies. Come on. So if you was, if honestly, in all Nah, that's a glitch, because if that was actually hitting that high, that would shut down my audio in an instant. Right, anyway, goodbye with you. I can't understand anything you're doing on the software, but I love watching the process anyways. Yeah, it is a bit mad scientist, a bit, like, kind of weird. I mean, it's one of those things, it's like, when you've done something for so many years, you just... You just you just do it. I mean, like I remember when I start first started out, I had no idea what I was doing. I think started out with and Wes is gonna know this as well. Um, Dance EJ. What a program. And even even playing music two thousand on the PlayStation One, like that is crazy. So what else do we have here? I just wanna go through a couple. I don't know what Stomp is. That could be anything. We have a track here called Saturn, that could be anything as well. Let's just open it. Wow, it is warm in this room. It is warm. Down CJ was the bomb though. Yeah, it is. I found the disc the other day and I just wanted to install it so bad. Okay, I don't know what was going on with this track. Okay. The bass is bloody loud. Bloody. Another idea to revamp here. Very somber. And there is a lot of noise coming from one channel, and I must find you. I don't know who you are. Excuse me, where are you? I'm a failures reset. I want to see where this channel hum's coming from. Is it Master Bus? No. It's a group channel. It's you, isn't it? Hello, noise. There's no way to turn this off, and it really bugs me because it's such a great, it's such a great plugin. 
but I can't turn off the noise. Bugs me greatly. Mm. I'm going to save that anyway and go back out of it. Sorry, so yeah, I'm just um, going through a couple of tracks here, guys. I know it seems a bit weird that I'm doing it. I'm just uh, checking some stuff out whilst I'm here. <laughs> Collins knows it. Dance EJ. What a program. What a program. You have so many unreleased tracks and they're effing gold. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. This is one folder of... Uh, we got 2020 in here and we also have then 400 and whatever gigabyte oh no i'm lying i'm lying i'm going to jump you into my iDrive um and show you uh is mirror theory here yep so here we go these okay that's not a very good these are all unreleased tracks uh more unreleased heaps i've got far too much to go through and i'm like these won't actually open though at the moment because I'm not using the same synths as I did on my older system, so I don't think half of them would even even open. I could try and open one of them, but I don't think they will. Um, list. Uh, let's go. No. Uh, sort by type. And sort by type again. Thank you. No, I couldn't even open any of these, I don't think. At all. Looks like I've tried to write melody and write memody instead. Let's just try. See, see if it, this see if this crashes. How did I come up with the name Mirror Theory? <clears throat> it was very very long time ago. The back in black and white when the dinosaurs roamed the earth. No, it was um, the original uh, working title for this project was called. Oh yeah, see, I'm missing a couple of synths already. Um, the original name I went by was Drip Lines. Um, that was the original for a couple of months and then mirrored theory came came about with the term mirror theory and um, I had it in my head that mirrored theory was um, when someone thinks about the same thing or a theory on something and two of people come together and it becomes a mirrored theory um, that's pretty pretty much it it's not that fun but <laughs> I'm not even going to bother searching for these files. These are not going to load. No, there's going to be no synths. They're not. They're not going to play. Okay, there's a really, really loud drum. So anyway, let's go back to what we was doing. Let's go back to what we were doing, which is in C drive. No, it's not. I have forgotten where I've just been. Oh, damn it. Because I moved these files the other day, so I'm still getting used to my uh, my um, my setup, so. I thought I put it in here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I threw it into uh, my documents or something. I could just... No, I can't backtrack. Quite a load of crap. Quite a load of crap. I need a list. Here we go. Saving this. Love heart. But yeah, we'll jump on some BL3 um, after this. We'll have some fun. Uh, might even stream some of it over on Twitch. So, um, twitch.tv forward slash mirrored underscore theory. I believe that is the correct link. He doesn't even know his own link because he's a professional musician. <laughs> I need to double check now. That's going to that's gonna annoy me. Give me two seconds. That is going to annoy me. 
professional, I swear. <laughs> oh, gosh. Go to my profile. Yes, that is correct. It is twitch.tv forward slash mirrored underscore theory. I'm going to drop it in the chat um, just for now. So um, just just so we know. Um, just in case you want to go over to my, my Twitch because I'm probably going to stream some gaming after this most likely. So um, I'm not sure yet. I do weekly streams uh, of this sort of stuff over there so and i'm trying to hit my uh 100 100 follow badge so uh where are we twitch tv forward slash i should have had these links uh ready to go uh before i started the stream but bing bang bong if any of you guys want to head over there um give me a follow on there it's all it's all fun it's all fun and games close that back down it's weird running a, a multi a multi monitor with it over in this angle i usually have it there but i can't have it there now because my speaker's in the way i got you bro hell yeah oxymore i know too hell yeah right oh i had that open already oh yeah this is a very another somber track actually I'll be gaming some, most likely some Borderlands 3, or we may jump over into some Generation Zero. Nice gap. Now I have some good news. Um, I haven't shared it out yet, but this track you hear right now, which I'm going to be completing very soon, um, I've just had an artist come back um, who's gone through a bit of a brand change. I'm not going to release it just yet, who it is, um, but you're going to be seeing their name quite a lot because I'm going to be uh, taking them under my wing on sort of my little record label on Echo Prism. Um, and there's also another artist that's going to be on it very soon. Again, I'm going to keep it very hush-hush, but if we go over to the Twitch, um, usually where I'm streaming every week, you're going to start seeing their names more. I'm going to do a YouTube listening party as well with the two remixes, and it's going to be a fun time. Um, that will be an event that you can all attend. It will be like um, you won't have to pay for it. You won't have to buy a virtual ticket or anything like that. You just um, sign on to the stream like you've done today. And... We can have some fun, have a listening party. That's coming up very soon, so be be on the lookout on the Instagram, the Facebook, and um, it will most likely be either streamed on YouTube or Twitch. I kind of feel it on YouTube because there's a lot of you guys on here, so it will be fun. And I've heard the remix and I've got it back, and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. And he turned it around in a day, and I was, you know, blown away by that. can't wait it sounds so good thanks it's very bare bones at the moment i wrote that portion and sent him the sample and he just uh went to town with it so um i want to open these i'm just going through a couple of uh couple of um project files now before we wind down and there is nothing in this project okay <laughs> i've saved an empty project for some reason you know it happens <laughs> it happens The Polygon Toy Box um, is one that's going to be coming too because, oh, excuse me, I do apologise. There's um, this I found on an old hard drive, which if you want to hear it, 
Um, I'll turn it up so you can hear it. I found this on an old hard drive, and I was kind of intrigued. I was kind of intrigued by it. Sorry, a bird just caught my eye there. Um, I was very intrigued. So let's go to the Polygon toy box and uh, have a look. So like I say, I found this on an old hard drive from 2010. Ago, so, so I started rewriting it, um, and this is what I got. weren't there weren't supposed to happen those, those those notes aren't supposed to happen i do apologize i threw that in as a joke whoops yeah i need to change that <laughs> Fail. failed big time there but yeah that's that's another one i'm working on from the older archives um i don't think i have uh the version of um failure is not an option i don't think i have that on here um, there's some other stuff on here. What have we got? Starship Rip. Hey, pups. Right. Let's see. I'm just going to turn this down because this could be loud. I probably mastered, uh, wrote this at a different volume. Ah, oh, nice one. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for following the Chitch uh, Ch Ch Twitch stream. Thank you. <laughs> Came on in the tug. Nice, nice, nice. So I have no idea what's going on here. This is just madness. what the drop's gonna do okay that one was that just completely changes yeah let's throw that one in the trash that's not good that's no 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 bueno hmm <laughs> i think if travis is still if bone jester's still here um there's one here called Lincoln. I know that's using a Lincoln Park sample. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so what do we have outside of here then? I thought I had more on here than than just this. Okay. We're gonna get ready to um sort of we're gonna we're gonna um 
I didn't finish that that sentence there. We're just gonna um, we're gonna um, um, we're gonna gonna get ready to uh, wrap up the stream soon. Oh, this one's all coloured in gold. The nice. Oh, we are oh. Oh, this is Return to Dust, which is a single I released um, not long ago on Spotify. Yes, I do have an Instagram page. It's just at Mirrored Theory. You can find me there. I post a lot on there. I post a lot. This is one of my faves. in this song is my most favourite because I crafted this sound that just reminds me of the old Moog. Yeah, and for three hours. Damn. Ooh. Sweet. Thank you very much, Eugenio. Thank you very much. I just want to hear that bass. Uh, where are you? This synth is just unreal, like this plugin really captures the Moog sound. The drums are catching too. Look. samples will drag with me but I'd like to do this track but slower yeah yeah it has that really old sci-fi feel especially this arpeggio um Bells are my favourite when I made these. Like, oh, I don't think I can play them because I do have an LFO running on it. So, no, it just hasn't got my launch pad. Oh, they sound so crazy. Yeah, a Prometheus type sci fi. Yeah, I feel that. But uh, this synth here was good old Massive X. Massive X is ridiculous. Like, beyond ridiculous. I just made the longest bell sound ever. I love the way that my GPU temps actually go inside the plugin when I'm running uh, Afterburner. Oh, I just love this sound. You can just warp it for days. You can just mess around and just keep playing. Like, it's got a, a rain in it. Like... It's like a drainage sound. Um, I want to stress this sound out just to, just, just to play with it, just to just make sure I save this preset before I... God, the trinkle on the bells. Trinkle is not a word. <laughs> what if I... Surely I can run a... Uh, I want to do something. What do I want to do? I want to run a jitter or something. I just got to play with it now. I've got to... I shouldn't mess with the original song, but... What if I glide it? Oh, that did nothing. Okay. Here we go.
Shimmers! Uh, let's throw in some other noise. What have we got? A kettle, some traffic, some breath. Will this activate? I don't know how to... Unless I set it to E2, but... Right, let's just change the drain. Close Earth. Oh, we we messing around with it now. This is sounding crazy. I kind of like that sound way better than the one I released. God damn it. Oh my gosh. Right, I'm going to close that down. Let's not save it from here on out because I will save over my preset by accident. And I've done that so many times. Like, so many times. Got right to the end of it, messed around with it, and gone, bang, save, idiot. <clears throat> not good. As a track here called The Takes Were Real. Okay. I'll bite. A lot of these songs are like really late night writing sessions that they're just loops that sit on the back burner and half the time don't get made into tracks. So no, this one won't get made into a track. No. Already not feeling it. So I need to delete that one because that, I won't ever use that, so uh, I won't ever use that, unfortunately. And that was the tapes were real. Oh, I can hear the moon. That's a new one that's coming out on the uh, new album. Funny story about I can hear the moon. I was sitting here in the moon right uh, when it's a full moon. It sits right outside my window, and if I have my blinds open, it shines right in at my face. And I just sat there and was like, damn, the moon is so bright, I can hear it. And that's where I can hear the moon came from. Come on now, please don't crash. Right, here we go. Let's have a little listen to this. I'm going to be releasing plenty of new merchandise soon as well. Long sleeves, t-shirts, sticker packs. Loads of cool stuff. Just because we're in lockdown doesn't mean we can't have some fresh stuff.
something I'll be doing this year as well is I will be releasing a um, I will be releasing a sample pack um, with all of my signature sounds in it that you can throw in like loops and stuff and make your own tracks. synth i really enjoy the chord lead um which i'm not going to be able to play at the moment till i plug in my launch pad where are you Boop. just great just playing it's got really somber sounds Sounds like it's getting stressed through a, a, a radio as well. Very nice. I'm just playing that on my uh, launch pad down here. That you. Oops. Yeah, there it is. Oh, yeah. Let's smack the mic at the same time. So when I'm playing live, I try and play this like a guitar, so I have it like on my chest. Um, I really want to design um, a harness for my launch pad so when i play live it's like a, a bulletproof vest that it slots into with a gap so when i'm playing i have like a, a big cable running down my back and it's all plugged into my equipment and i can just play all of my stuff on my chest um who's my favorite electronic music producer hmm. well there's two of them and they're a duo and they're brothers and they are called boards of canada they are my favorite um who else am I going to say? I've got a, I've got a group of favourite producers. I'm definitely going to say Rob Swire is one of my favourite producers. Everything he touches just sounds fantastic. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Aphex Twin, fantastic British artist. Um, stuff like that. They're sort of my favourites. Um, really, really, really enjoy those. That was really weird. I just hear I just heard some talking come through my headphones. That was really weird. Like I picked up a frequency that was strange. Strange. And why have I got a track called Hum? If Oxymoron's still here, he'll know cuz it's humming. Oh, I couldn't load substance, which is very annoying. Okay, well it's not a great idea anyway. It's not good. Window Licker, yeah, that's that's a great tune by um by Aphex. Um, one of my favourite albums is Drux, um, and one of my favourite tracks is Vord Hosman. Very, very good, very, very good track. Hey puss, what you doing? You ready for food, huh? You hungry? Yeah, I heard you. Good girl. Uh, Mark can already hear it. Oh, just. <laughs> Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't know what this little drum and bass loop is. I have no idea. A failure loop is what it is. I really want to know where failure is not an option is. The new version of it. Um, I really want to know. I want to know. I don't know where I put it. You ever play MMOs other than Borderlands? Not really. Not really. I'm getting back into gaming again. Um, I used to game when I was younger, but obviously music took over so much that that's all I did on my PC. And it wasn't until like you know Oxymoron and it was like you know you should you should set your rig up for gaming. And I was like nah. And then I did because I blew a graphics card up last week. 
Wes knows the story. I overclocked it, pushed it as hard as I could. It was an old card, and it went and bust and smelled really bad. So now I have a uh, uh, a 1050 Ti Strix sitting in here now, which does the job nicely. And this is where Oxymoron's going to sit and laugh at me now and go, 1050 Ti peasant. He's running the 2080 Ti. <sighs> Oof, that's a big card. Karas AMV I made for failure's not an option. Ah, yeah, but I hid it on my channel. Bruh. I'd like to see that again. If you could share me, um, if you could make it um, unlisted, so not private, make it unlisted, and then you can share me a link so I can watch it. Only like whoever has the link can watch it. I'd really like to see that again. It. <laughs> I can't type. Oh, my God. There's a really weird track here called Omens, which I don't know whether to carry on with. The start is really funny, but when it kicks in, it kind of, Sounds a bit different. But yeah, we're going to end up the stream soon because we're coming up to two hours. So, and I need to eat. The cat needs to eat. Um, I'd like to do some more US friendly um, streams. So I stream late at night here because I have a week off work now. So that's kind of nice. So that's why I'm getting my creative stuff on. Um, so this, this is weird, this track, but I don't know how I feel about it. It's a bit out of my comfort zone. Fight Club song, yeah. <laughs> sure I could get like a Billie Eilish acapella or something and just turn it into a remix. See, it's just missing vocals. It's literally just missing vocals. Like, that's it. That is literally it. But anyways, what we're going to do is we are going to um, wrap the stream up um, pretty much here. I just need to turn that down in my ears because that is really loud and then turn it up on here so yeah we're gonna pretty much end up um because i know cat's hungry you're hungry right yeah yeah she hungry but it's been awesome anyway it's been really cool to um have you guys here and chat to you all and and all of that good stuff i mean there's gonna be plenty of more streams coming uh, this week for sure because obviously i've got some more time off and um i'm probably gonna be doing them on twitch because uh well i might alternate actually between What? The AMVs have copyright claims? No way! We need to sort that out. Damn! Or I just write you a custom song for the AMV. Um, I'll just grab the cat real quick. I'm going to get covered in so much hair when I pick her up, but I'll, I'll go grab her real quick, so I will be back. Are you coming? Yeah? Are you going to come say hello? Come on. second so I can put my headphones on so I can hear what's going on huh yeah let's turn that down right so here she is oh you are heavy girl huh you're the only cat I know you're kicking me in the face you're the only cat I know that will lay on your back here she is she's only little too aren't you you're only one year old 
But you've got plenty of growing left to do. Are you going to say hello to the camera? Or say hello to the microphone? No. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Look at you, huh? Ooh, you're so floppy. You can just hold her like this and she'll just sleep. Isn't that right? Little peachy. You want kiss? No? No? Right, just pop me back down. Because else you'll get mad. She usually sits on my lap while I'm, uh, Peachy Keen, she usually sits on my lap while I'm, while I'm writing. And then you like to stamp on the escape key and close the program down, don't you? Huh? Should we go outside for a moment so you can go and bug all the birds? Yeah. And get you fed as well. Look how hairy you are, you're molting right now. I need to get the hoover out. Don't we? Little sausage. Right, let's put you down. Yeah, let's put you down. Come on. Good girl. Right, awesome. It has been fantastic to have you guys here. And uh, just like, well, like like always, it's an absolute pleasure. I'm going to head off now. I'm going to make some food. I'm going to feed the cat. And hoover in here now because I'm covered head to toe in, in fur. It is crazy. But anyways, guys... It has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for all hopping in and um, keeping the chat alive, keeping the chat busy. Um, if you play Warzone, if anyone plays Warzone, hit me up. Sweet, yeah? Cool, I'll have to check Warzone out. I've never never played that. But yeah, thanks for that and thanks for the great work. Thank you very much for jumping in and and um, keeping, keeping me company. It has been awesome. Has been very, very awesome. Oh, that's why my voice sounds strange. Because I didn't have my noise gator on. I could hear, I could hear, uh, like my chair moving. Hey, remember, you have a very loyal fan in South America. Amazing. You are awesome. Thanks for the amazing tracks and the entertainment. No problems, no problems at all. Like I say, there'll be more of this on tw uh, Twitter. There will be more of this on Twitch and more of this on YouTube, just going through random stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's been great. But anyways, I am going to head off, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of it, and I will see you next time. It's Christmas time. <laughs> now it's time for me to go. Bye-bye, everybody. See you another time.
thought I was bloody done. Oh no, I'm just getting started. You thought I was disappearing. Santa can't disappear that easy. There'll be plenty of Santa stuff coming this Christmas, including merchandise. I haven't dropped that yet, but there will be new videos. New everything. It's a bit early for Christmas, but... Oh, look, it's Christmas time. I don't have the track to play, but... <laughs> Damn, my actual beard is the same size as this beard. That's crazy. But like I say, there will be plenty of Christmas time coming, um, this year. Um, and Rudolph has been a bloody twat. Um, just thought I'd jump in just quickly to voice my opinion. <laughs> but it is time for me to actually go. Because, yes, Oxymoron 02, my body is ready. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go now, so Santa needs to get back to sleep so he can wake up fresh and ready to deliver the presents. Oh, you've all been bloody naughty. Bye-bye, everybody. Snow at the right bloody time!